Uh, Tucker Carlson, what the hell is he talking about in this clip? How do you think about all the changes that have taken place over the past, let's say, I don't know, four months? I want you to stop. It's April uh, 16th, almost April 20th, right? So uh, February 20th, March 20th, three months since Joe Biden's been in office. Think about all the changes that have taken place. What, what, do you, what comes to your mind? Uh, got COVID vaccines out. Um, we got, uh, we got some checks, not 2000, but, um, may have. Dr. Seuss has been Do memory hold. Dr. Dr. Seuss. Six Dr. Seuss. Oh, yeah, um, right, Mr. Potato Head. yeah. All right. Well, listen to Tucker Carlson recount what has happened in those three months. He won't say anything specific, but. It's been pretty radical, folks. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Happy Thursday. No, no, I want to start this at, no, no, no. I want to start this at, at uh, two minutes in or something. We have relentless technological change, and apparently we are. You cannot inflict relentless social change and expect your society to Pause survive. Pause it right there. Things okay, so he's apart. just said that we have had He's talked about like, you know, we've had relentless technological change. That's, I think that's probably true. That's been going on over the past, you know, really the past 30 years in particular, I think. Um, and then, you know, that the, the pace of it has gone up. But all right, so uh, let's see where he goes in from there. If you do that, that's guaranteed. Yet that is exactly what our leaders are currently doing. They're changing everything whether we like it or not. A new language, new values, new biology, new curricula, new social mores and hiring standards and body types, a brand new national population. Pause and it, then pause because it, that's pause still it, not- Pause it, pause it, Let's just go through that and see like all the different things that have been changed. He's talking about for the past three months, incidentally. Go back a little bit, go, ba go back uh, 30 seconds, 40 seconds there. Yet that is exactly what our leaders are currently doing. They're changing everything, whether we like it or not. A new language, new values, language. new biology, new curricula, new social mores and hiring standards and body types, a brand new national population. What? And then because that's still not enough change, a whole new system of government. All of that in three months. Wait, what were Wait, the consequences of that Pause change? Of that Wait a second, what? Can you guys help me out here? New language? Uh, that's all the new pronouns you have to learn. Oh, you have to learn. You have to learn to say they instead of <laughs> yeah. he or she. That's. Yeah. I mean, that is and and oh, incidentally, you don't. You don't have to. Any more than you need to like. Yeah, I don't know. Put your napkin on your lap. It's just yeah, Jordan Peterson is still at large. It's it's called politeness. You don't have to. Uh, what was the other things? We've changed body types. I'm not even sure I know what that means. I've been doing a little bit more yoga and stuff, so I'm a little bit. I, I've thinner. been I've been I've been doing some like therapy for my knee, and that is, um, we've changed genders and values. Is he talking about like now that because uh, it's all trans stuff? It's all all trans think. stuff. Yeah, multiple trans uh, women murdered. I think it was in Texas uh, this past week, uh, the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like what he's talking about. We have a new system of government in the past three months. Wow. I can't even, I can't even guess what that is. Well, let's see. Let's get it. Continue on. Not enough change. A whole new system of government. All of that in three months. Wow. What will the consequences of that change of that revolution be in we your bones? You know, the answer it's terrifying. And it doesn't have to happen. What America needs now more than anything is a pause, a moment to catch our national breath, take stock, assess what just happened, a lot happened, and calmly consider the best way forward. You want unity for the country? We all do. And that might bring us unity. But no, the kaleidoscopic barrage of unending change continues. Yesterday, they informed us they plan to dismantle the last trusted branch of our government, the Supreme Court. Here's a congressman from New York explaining why they're doing it. His name is Mondaire Jones. He's 33 years old. 
He went to Stanford and Harvard Law School, meaning that in his short life, he has produced essentially nothing. So none of it is real to him. So he's happy to blow it up. Watch. All right, pause it. Now, okay, yeah, we don't need to see anymore. Mondaire Jones has a video about uh, the Supreme Court. First off, the Supreme Court size of the Supreme Court has changed seven years, uh, seven times over the course of uh, the uh, life of the United States. Uh, the idea that the vast majority of people watching Tucker Carlson would know that there are nine uh, nine Supreme Court justices, I would put somewhere around, you know, like 5% uh, uh, chance of, of that being the case. The idea that if there are um, 13 members of the Supreme Court, it is going to radically change the way that we go about our daily lives um, or we're going to be aware of it is not the case. I wish it was that people understood what was going on in the Supreme Court. But what the hell is he talking about? He's basically saying if we allow trans people to just exist and uh, make changes to the Supreme Court, then we'll all have to vote for the next Hitler. That's basically what he's saying, I think. Yeah, he does. He says this is how Hitler uh, came about, all this uh, radical change. Incidentally, uh, Mondaire Jones, uh, lawyer, worked in the Department of Justice, worked uh, for a clerk for a U.S. district court, and worked uh, for a, uh, an international law firm in New York. As far as I could tell, Tucker Carlson has done nothing except for um, have a website, and be an heir and uh, go on TV and pontificate about stuff he doesn't believe in. So, you know, eventually he's, he's trying to, he's going to try and make this about the, um, the, you know, the black guy. Uh, ultimately, that's where Tucker's going with this because that's where all roads lead to. Radical, radical change that we have been suffering. This change, we can't, we don't even know what our heads are spinning from all this change for the, in the last three months. It's amazing he went through all of that and didn't say a thing. He couldn't point to a single thing. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. And my understanding is he did not um, he did not uh, make sure uh, you know help uh, Lula get free. <laughs> 